Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are just finding me, my name is Cassie and today I am trying sublimation on coasters for the very first time. No idea what I'm doing. We're gonna do this together. Okay, so the very first thing that I need is images for the coasters. So my client wants pictures of her baby on there. So she sent me the pictures and I used Canva um, to make them the round shape. And I can always do a tutorial for you guys. If you're interested, just comment below. Let me know if you're wanting to learn more about Canva. I'm happy to share that. Um, and then I just put them on a Word document, sized them correctly to four inches because that's the size of my coasters. And I'm printing them on sublimation paper now. So this is my um, printer that I'm using. It is just an Epson printer with the Echo Tank. And I have filled the Echo Tank with my sublimation ink and I am just printing this out on sublimation paper. So the sublimation paper that I use is um, this one right here. And I will link everything below for you guys um, so that you have easy access to everything that I'm using. Um, but it's printing out nicely and I also mirror image everything. So. Um, I have my settings on my computer whenever I click print that it's going to automatically print everything mirrored because I always tend to forget. Uh, so that just makes it easy for me. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to cut these out real quick um, and we'll go from there. These are the sublimation blanks that I got. The only thing is they seem really, really thin. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to like these. The thing I do like is that they're rubber back. Um, so they're like the non-slip grip and they are water absorbing. So that's the reason why I decided to do sublimation coasters. Uh, I was doing acrylic coasters but acrylic coasters are not water absorbing and most people like, you know, something that is water absorbing. So these are four inches. So I like the size of these and we're just gonna kind of see how that goes. This is my heat press here. It's, I've never owned one before. So this is my very first one. It does swivel and I have it heating up. It came with some accessories. So if you want to press a cap, mug, or plates, it has all of that for you. And it is available on Amazon and I have it linked below for you. I've cut out my images and I have my sublimation blanks ready. I have seen others and they press your blanks for a couple of seconds first just to push out any moisture that may be inside of these. So we'll do that after this finishes heating up. I have my temp set at 400 um, for 40 seconds. So I'm hoping that is the right settings. I guess we'll play around and see how this turns out. And if we need to adjust, we will adjust then. Okay, so we're ready. We are just going to press this for just a couple of seconds and not all the way just half just to get it prepared and now we are going to put our images on so we are just going to line this up nicely with our image and set this down here. Just making sure that it's lined up. Could make your images slightly bigger then your coaster, but I did and I just made them 
four inches. Could also take them down, which I'm choosing not to do. So I am not playing it safe today. Okay. All right. Push this in here. Fingers crossed. 40 seconds. Push this all the way down. And starting to count down. 37, 36, 35. Fingers crossed. I can hear it counting down. I can hear my heartbeat. I'm nervous. I'm like so nervous. First time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, stop! Thank you. All right, let's see what we got. I think the only thing that I'm missing is I need some parchment paper to lay on top of it before I press it just to protect um, like the ink and stuff. But what do you guys think? I think it turned out great. I hope my customer loves it. Look at that. Ah, so I think the heat setting is perfect. Um, and I set it at 400 for 40 seconds. Not too shabby. Yay. If you guys like this video, um, and want to, uh, follow me for more videos, make sure you like and subscribe, comment below. Let me know what else I can do to help you guys. And we'll see you next time.